help. I'm just trying to think. You know, you could get out there too, Dutch. Just remember who you're talking to. Good morning. How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we gonna hit that bank I told you about? We'll see. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. Thanks, Mr. Pearson. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Many thanks. Just make sure it goes into the pot and not your pocket. Good job, Mr. Morgan. So, John, I was talking to little Daddy. There's a fine boy you got. If he's mine, of course he's yours. It's the truest of gifts, a child. Yet you push him away. I ain't no kind of father. I wish the boy no harm, but... Well, you know how we live. We live free. If you say so. How you feel? Stronger, for sure. But not strong enough to work. Hi there, mister. Fine morning, partner. Hey! Hey! I'll be right over. Pleasant travels.
Look out, mister. Good day. All right, girl. Hey, hey, you good? Will you move? Homes for the blind? Is someone there? Hmm? Oh, is someone there? Hello? There you go, oh, friend. You, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Let's go, girl. Bonjour. met his match at last, huh? My congratulations. Hello. You new to these parts, sir? I'm a blow-in myself.
I'll say one thing about my brother. He always makes friends the law enforcement. You know what I mean? Very well, then. You doing okay? Yow lo yow kui gum la. I'll pray oh, for you. First time here, I think. Don't fear, fight. You might want to change your clothes. You mind your business, I'll mind mine. Anyway, how's it all going for you? Anyway... Okay, well, don't let me keep you. Talking Taking up. it real easy there, huh? What? Why you say this? Ah, oh, shut that, your right? mouth. This is unacceptable! Hey! You're already wasting enough air as it up. is. Fine, I'll leave! And what exactly is your problem? Hey, I'm just an old man, okay? Don't work yourself too hard there. Hey, that's no way to talk to people. Wouldn't want you creased in your petticoat. Please, just let me be. Ah, shut up. Okay, okay. I'll just be on my way then. Please help me. You, you're annoying me. Get the hell away from me. You. You're annoying me. Hey, come on. I do nothing. You are treating people very bad. Hey, I don't
Hey, partner! Hey, partner. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh... That's too bad. You, mister, excuse me. How do you do, sir? So, you heard anything about any, uh, bounty hunters in these parts? Sorry, I do not know. Yeah, I was just, uh, wondering. See you soon. It's my turn to chair the ball this year. I am. Uh, Seth, mm -hmm. just, how do you do? This is just too bad. I mean, nobody's seen hide nor hair of him. Don't repeat this, but I just heard that doctor's been ordering oh, four plus really for one of you. Gavin! Gav! In! Where the hell are you? I'm so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? This is really worrying me. Gavin! His last trip to the fields, I asked him to pick me some peonies. Imagine my surprise when he returned with a pony that he had picked out. Well, I'll be. Hello, mister. This is Hello. You know, when you have one of those days... That a fact. Anyway, onwards and upwards. So long. Damn, Lord, don't blame me. 
Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Sure. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from around here. Yeah, it was you I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, I reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. Come on, my girl. What's it to be? Yep. Morning air is free for you. Not a smart move to travel alone in these parts, especially looking like you. <sighs> you threatening me, you piss ant. Stupid bastard's got a problem with authority. <laughs> Hope you're saying your prayers. <laughs> I guess I was told. <laughs> Easy, girl. Make that mug of yours scarce before I make it even uglier.
And then just leave me on here. Face alive. <clears throat> Isn't your day, is it? Time to go!
Can't nothing good come of this. Hey, you. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, young man like you get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? You shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. I'm gonna do this for you, but I don't like it. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals? I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Bury folks alive. One time, I... Hey, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girlie. By a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs. No hands. Uh, uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book. You should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say, and I'll leave you alone. You owe me there. Hey. You be careful. Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? <laughs> well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man a piece. No government witness. <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss. But he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pigsty, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck you. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! You walk away. Don't do it! There you go. No. No. No! You didn't know! Oh, God. You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killer. And I'm going to enjoy it now. Draw. It's going to be the last thing you do. Mm-hmm.
Here. Let's go, girl. Yeah.
Okay, girl. Yep. Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? A sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. Strutting around. Nose in the air. Holding hands with that dump. Come on, kid. You expect to win this girl with all your belly aching? Be a man, son. Hey, I'm plenty man, thank you very much. You ain't so much as a loaf of wet bread. What? Well, well, forget you, mister.
Easy. Whoa. Blacko Hernandez, you in there? I didn't want trouble, but I'm just here to speak with you. About Boy Calloway? I'm unarmed. <coughs> well, King Gallo. I just want to talk. About Boy Calloway? Sure. Here's your message.
Okay, girl. Yeah, you're all right, girl. Yep. There, girl. Yeah. It's not fair. 
How come... How come you get to make the choice and not me? Just... Leave me alone, will you? This is... exhausting. I just don't want him to see me. We're not friends anymore. We're not. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> well... It ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. That's why, that, that, that's why I'm out here, well away from them. They come for me, but I'm watching. I, I never sleep. I never do. Our very own avenging angel. Look on the wall there if you're after another quarry. Hard. The Terror of Valentine. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh, I got it. This bounty you're after, the lady, what's she do? Mrs. Swan? <laughs> Poor dear. Married the wrong man. She thought she could kill him and inherit a fortune. Instead, she got some debts and that bounty on her head. This lady murder. That kind of thing happened much around here? This is a cattle town. There's three men to every woman. And three women to every woman of the marrying kind. Certain type of lady is drawn to this place. Indeed. Well, if they're in New Hanover, I'll find them. Read the fine print. 
We want that one with color in their cheeks. Howdy. Howdy. Pound him to hell. Somebody help me out. I was in the army. Read about the home for the Leviticus Cornwall train robbers. Come on, girl. Hey, you're crazy in the head. What's the rush? What's wrong with you? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Easy now. Good job, girl. Nothing of the kind. That means you kill your sweethearts. 
Where do they get such nonsense? There must be. Now come over here. Come here. Really weren't my sweetheart. He was a bully, okay? And he got what was coming. Now, you gonna come over here and romance me? It says there's other fellers. It says right there in black and white. <laughs> Y'all talking about Frank and Henry. And Howie. I just had bad luck with my men folk is all. Bad luck? Until I met you, you turned my world around. Oh, you're a conundrum, Missy. Mm -hmm. A real conundrum. I'm just... I'm just a lady, is all. That there's a bounty hunter. Get him! L.A.N. Kill that bounty hunter! <laughs> I I I'm sorry. <gasps> oh, God damn it, you got him! That <laughs> sweet, dumb son of a bitch! Don't like the rest of them. of them. Come on, girl. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Oh, dear. What came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. But I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good girl. Really, I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Don't you, mister? I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I, I, I've done bad things, but a jail. A jail ain't where I belong. Victoria, maybe. Get me help, mister. Please? Save me. Save me from the sheriff. And moreover, from myself. You're such a strong man. So tough and burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. My men folk, they've all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight. Wouldn't you, mister? Put me on the straight and narrow?
Coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. You're coming with me. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> that we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feather out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Well, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So, it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. Let me out to exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. It's so boring in here. Can we have some fun, Sheriff? Just the two of us. And to think you were sniffing around this office have an at one point. I'm lucky you were charmed by another. Excuse me, partner. No meal is complete if it don't got meat. Good to see you back. People really enjoy that. Right on the main street there. Still... Thanks, partner. Trust your gut, folks. Step right up. Hello, welcome. No, it's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps?
Ah, you ugly bastard. You're getting old. Old and kind of sad. No wonder they all leave you. You sour-faced idiot. You ain't fooling no one. each other it's not about survival of the fittest I hope you don't <coughs> harbor a grudge against me. I hope you're not here to cause more <coughs> trouble. <coughs> what if Hello, I don't sir? wanna help people? Well, you're just full of charity, ain't you? Well, I'm, I'm just trying to help where I can, sir. Or interfere. <coughs> you you would have killed that man. What I do is none of your damn business, okay? Okay, okay, <coughs> okay, sir. <coughs> <coughs> Give money to the orphans. Remember, <coughs> remember, it's better to give than to receive. <coughs> Let's go, girl. Borrow from the Odrisco boys. Move you along. pay the Odrisco boys. I made it right with you, us. Right. Looks like you need a lesson. <gasps> Soft as silk. <laughs> Every Odrisco gun in the county is gonna be aiming. <laughs> You might have just saved my life, stranger. You're a gentleman. They won't bother you no more. <laughs> if, if only there was more men like you, and less of them damn O'Driscolls. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see to my ailings. Thank you, mister. Really. Hope you're breathing all right. 
Because you still owe. If this ain't good. The difference good. is, it's me now. I'll not Get a move on. Here, here, here is everything I have. Take it. Uh, I guess this will have to do. Get lost. Will you leave me alone? Oh, dear Lord! Okay, girl. Yeah. Dumbass! Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky. Runs the operations there badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. What am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. So, Arthur. It's nasty out there on your own. When I was in Valentine, I nosing about... I think I found something interesting. What's that, Tilly? I'm safe here. Well, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> something about the doctor's <laughs> office. There's something funny on going on there. Saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. Maybe I'll go take a look. Anything else? No. Just that. Well, keep looking. Will do. You can stay with us as long as you want. Thank you. It's the least we can do. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur.
speaking to in town tell me about a curse. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just a, just a few bucks, and I'm short. Get lost. Well, well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. So see, you're back to lazing about again. Oh no. Here we go. Was it? W w was it just bad luck or bad weather or something else? Something about an eagle or an owl. Gravesite. I didn't really get it. Well, I think it sounds very interesting. You did good in town, finding out about that train. Thank you. It was fun. Oh, I wouldn't say it was all fun. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sounds good. Hey, so that fella who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yeah, see you later. There we go. Hey there, mister. Why, well, hey there. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. You're a little too friendly, you know.
Knock, knock, Mr. Robo. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <coughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Przestań. Już nie mam siły. Ah, no, 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 no. Please, no. I don't have money, but, but I have this. It's good, it's good, it's valuable, it's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things, okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. Don't even speak English. Somewhere. The longer I look, the madder I get. Very valuable, good? Not good yet. No. Yes, 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 yes. What you got behind there? So, uh, Move aside. Just talk on you, must not fight you. My kinds of test. What do we have here? My old bronzka, nie. Just keep quiet. Okay, that should about cover things.
Look out! Yeah. Chick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the green horn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Come on. You make me go much further, I'll get more than a debt off you. Jeremy shouldn't have left me there. something on you. Well, this map better take me somewhere good or... Ah, uh, suppose there ain't much I can do. Come on, girl.
Why's it always gotta be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. <laughs> Lily! Where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper! Give him what you've got! I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder! Son of a bitch! Leave me alone, oh, won't you? This. You've got the I debt. didn't steal that, it's a debt. Oh, damn it. Can a man have some peace? <laughs> Get back here. You stop, goddammit. You're about to get your face broke. <clears throat> you Go forget what you... camp ain't got no room to spare. Go with you. Money, tough guy. Now. Get out of here now, or I'll... Now! Come on! Enough with you! You're going to... Eat shit! Oh. Ah! <laughs> Should've just given it to me.
Come on, girl. Yep. Drink this. Oh. 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 Medicine? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. Oh. You saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh. Oh. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Let's go, girl. It's me. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. 
Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Jack Marston. Look at me. Look at me. In the eye. You been crying? Why? Why? Listen to me. Don't waste your life worrying about people you don't care about. You got me. You got the whole camp. So stop them tears. You hear? Yes. And you got Arthur here for you, too. Arthur, what you want? Man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> yeah. 